All right, guys, today is the day I've been promising for like a year now. We're finally gonna get some dirt on the uh, MP10. We're here at uh, s and and uh, we're gonna throw it out there and try not to scratch it up too bad. <laughs> But I figured I'd give y'all some under the hood beauty shots one last time before I get it all scratched up. But let's check it out real quick. The moment I haven't been looking forward to, but looking forward to at the same time, like new car, getting it all scratched up and stuff. But this thing turned out awesome. I'm sure it's gonna be okay. A few scratches never hurt nothing, right? Let's get the body off real quick. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Unless I've already already had the time to break the engine in. Um, it should be tuned, or you know, fairly close anyway. But this thing is absolutely gorgeous. So. They got to get dirty eventually. Oh man. Yeah, I'm gonna throw the heater on the engine. Go ahead and get the engine, you know, up, up to operating temperature and probably run it down the straightaway just to make sure it's tuned good and then we'll cut it loose. It's a beautiful track. I know it will be the C from the ground level. But we'll get some, uh, some pretty good shots, hopefully, so. I got some, I got some help coming, so hopefully they can help, you know, reduce some recording. If not, I'm just gonna put you on the tripod and y'all just see part of the track and that's just gonna be what it's gonna be. But, all right, enough rambling. Let's get to it.
guys that's gonna be it for this video i know i didn't get the best of driving footage um but like I said, this was my first time driving this car so everything was new um but i don't think i did it too bad <laughs> definitely not that good but um the car worked perfect i can say without a shadow of a doubt right now the mp10 t is a it's leaps and bounds above what the mp9 was like i said i've never had a car that felt that good um i said, even though i'm a little rusty <laughs> But the car fared very well. I'll show you guys, um, you know, the little bit of damage that occurred from me crashing and stuff like that. But the car still, it held up great. It still looks great. And I'm excited. But basically, I just had to shake the new off the car because we have two races coming up that I want to go to. And, you know, it's a bad idea to take an all new car to a, a race, I think. Um, so I'd rather bang it up and, you know, break it in a little bit before I throw it out on a track for a race day. <laughs> but let's take a look at it. But this is the car as it come off the track. Uh, like I said, didn't get to didn't get to run much, but like I said, uh, the car fared fairly good. Um, got a little scuff up here, and I'm being a baby, but you know, like I said, it's my first all new car and some you know quite some time. So see, it's like barely even scratched up. So. Yeah, we're going to get this thing cleaned back up, and uh, the next time you guys will see it, it will probably be at a race, so. But like I said, going to be a lot of RC car stuff going on. Like I said, I'm going to get this thing cleaned up, and uh, like I said, the next time you see it, it'll be on the track. And uh, so I hope you guys will stick around and subscribe for that. But I'm going to get out of here and quit wasting your time, and we'll see you on the next one. Dino! Come on, Dino! Come on, hurry, hurry Dino, come here, <laughs> hello, where's your good buddy, there's your good buddy.